Well, the search for the plane's voice and data recorders raises new questions about why flight information is not broadcast in real time. The technology already exists to do so and would provide investigators quick access to the data after a crash. Our Chris Van Cleve is at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport with why airlines are still slow to adopt it. Chris, good morning to you. Good morning. One of the challenges with real-time flight monitoring is the volume of data. Take a look at the departure board here at Terminal 3 at Chicago's O'Hare. These are just the morning flights from one terminal. This airport has more than 900,000 takeoffs or landings a year. That's a huge amount of data from just one U.S. airport. After Air France Flight 447 crashed off the coast of Brazil in 2009, it took almost two years and $40 million to retrieve its black boxes from the bottom of the Atlantic. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370's flight recorders still haven't been recovered because no one knows where exactly in the Indian Ocean to look. I can find my kids by pinging their iPhone. We shouldn't have aircraft that disappear anywhere in the world today. Former National Transportation Safety Board Chairman Deborah Herzman wants planes to stream black box data whenever something unusual happens in order to help investigators. We want to make sure that when they arrive on scene, they don't have to go down to the ocean floor to find those recorders. They have some of the most important information in their hands right away. Last year, Qatar Airways said its entire fleet will eventually stream flight data. First Air, a regional carrier in Canada, is already doing so. According to Matt Desch, CEO of the satellite communications company Euridium, black box streaming technology can cost tens of thousands of dollars to install and maintain on each aircraft. It may be that airlines are trying to figure out what is the best, most cost-effective solution that will fit all of their issues. The current system relies on ground-based radar to monitor planes, but that leaves more than 70 percent of the world uncovered. One alternative, using satellites to track a plane's GPS transponder, which would relay its speed, altitude, and location. Euridium hopes to have such a system up and running by 2018. A global surveillance system can track that airplane down to the second and, and help you find it very quickly. Aircraft already transmit engine performance data in flight, but Herzman thinks many airlines won't take steps to stream additional information without a push from regulators. We have the ability to do Wi-Fi on the plane. It's about making sure that the safety data gets as much priority as the entertainment. Other factors here, experts say the traditional technology radar virtually works, works pretty well. And when you look at black boxes, they are almost always recovered from accident scenes. And of course, the cost of the new technology, that would almost certainly be passed on to flyers. Charlie? Thanks, Chris.